In the art of magic, we often work with the four elements, air, fire, earth, and water. Now, there's a lot of different ways and reasons why we work with these elements. Sometimes we use them for purification. Sometimes we use them to charge different items, such as talismans or tools. Sometimes they are used as a means of worship or offering. Salt is often used to represent the element of earth. Plain water is often used to represent the element of water. A candle is oftentimes used to represent the element of fire. And incense is oftentimes used to represent the element of air. Many times, people can't burn incense indoors. Either it's not allowed where they are, or they're allergic to it, or they might have a nice paint job in their home and they don't want to mar it with a lot of smoke. And a lot of studies have been done recently on the harmful effects of incense indoors. So even if you can burn incense indoors, you might want to limit your exposure to too much incense smoke and always make sure that it's done in a well-ventilated area. I've gotten to the point where I only burn incense outdoors or if I've got all the windows open. There are certain places where it's just not allowed for me to burn incense, so I can't. So we look for an alternative. And this is my alternative, and I love this. And I even stick with this when I can burn incense. So what you see here are different alcohol-based perfumes. And then I also have a water-based hydrosol here. With an alcohol-based perfume, they're made either out of natural essential oils or a combination of natural and synthetic fragrance materials or all synthetic fragrance materials. And that alcohol is highly volatile, so it stays airborne longer than a hydrosol, which is made with all water. So it's got more of a of an air quality than the than the hydrosol does. But what makes this a creature of air is the atomizer. So once I spray this into the air, the mist is very fine. And this is a wonderful substitute for incense. Now, what I use for purification is usually a traditional eau de cologne. Here's a, here's a very traditional eau de cologne. This is made by Roger and Galet. And there's many different traditional eau de colognes. I have them listed on my website, but I will probably also list a few examples in the video description here. This here is a traditional eau de cologne that I made myself based on a very ancient recipe. And I have a video showing you how to do that. And also I give you the formula for that that you can find on my YouTube channel. Now, for purification and for blessing, one of the fragrances that has always been somewhat all-purpose is verbena or vervain, especially the lemon verbena. In American hoodoo, it's come to be known as van van. And the reason why van van is a word <laughs> is it's, a, it's an alliteration of vervain, vervain, but that came to be called van van because people didn't speak French necessarily. So when somebody was called, was talking about how you should purify with vervain, uh, it turned into Van Van. So this is a Vervain by Fragonard, and it's lovely. There's a lot of Vervain perfumes out there, and you can also uh, make your own out of Verbena essential oil or out of a combination of other essential oils which mimic the smell of lemon Verbena, in, and you put it into an alcohol base. And I have a video on how to do that as well that you can look up. Now, I use this instead of smudge, either this or the traditional eau de cologne. I spray three sprays in a room to completely cleanse and purify the room. So I just do one, two, three. And it's a beautiful fragrance. It smells just divine. Now, if I'm working planetary or angelic magic, I like to use single note floral perfumes. So I have a floral perfume that I've associated with each and every angel. And actually, I didn't come up with those, those correspondences. They've been around for many, many years. But I don't know that everybody was using alcohol-based 
perfumes. So what you have to do is find single note floral perfumes in an alcohol base if you want to start using them for your planetary or angel magic. So here's a few examples for Venus. Here's a rose perfume by Yardley. For um, Mercury or Raphael, here's a Muguet or Lily of the Valley based uh, fragrance by Yardley. <laughs> this one is by Woods of Windsor. It's a jasmine and I use that for Gabrielle and or the moon. And then here's an orange blossom for the Archangel Mikael or the sun. If you have a talisman, the spell will call for you to anoint it with an oil sacred to whatever energy you're using, and then wave that talisman through the smoke of incense. But if you're using a spray perfume, then you can do both of things in one operation. You are perfuming and anointing that talisman with the fragrance of the perfume itself, and the the, the mist and the alcohol base is already a creature of air, so that works like an oil and an incense together. So for instance, I have this talisman that we made on, on our stream. This is a talisman of Mars. For the planet Mars and the Archangel Samael, I use honeysuckle as my floral perfume. So this honeysuckle is by Coswell Mozzi. They make some beautiful single note perfumes. And all I do is I spray it directly on the talisman, three sprays. And then I'll set this under a candle and let it charge that way. So this is how I can both perfume and bless it with the element of air. Now I will also sprinkle it with some salt water. So I have the earth and the water, and then I'll burn a candle on top of it also so that it's blessed by the element of fire. This is a, a, just a wonderful way to allow yourself to have all the benefits of smudging and incense and things like that without the smoke. Now these floral waters, even though they're not alcohol based, they're an, a wonderful option because they're all natural. This rose water is great for Venus and you can also spray that, you can spray it right in your face as well. But the mist is not quite as fine and you'll see that the mist goes down a lot faster than a than an alcohol-based perfume because it is not as volatile. That stays in the air a lot longer. So the alcohol-based perfumes are more of a creature of air than the floral waters. I've shown you a couple of videos on how you can make your own alcohol-based perfumes. And if you make your own, then you can always make sure that it's 100% natural by using only natural essential oils. Now, a lot of the floral fragrances you won't find naturally, so you'll have to have an alternative. All of Pretty much all of my courses in magic give you extensive correspondences and lists for essential oils and perfumes that can be used for each of the angels and the planets. So you can make your own version of this if you want to make it, or you can buy these single note perfumes. Don't buy perfumes that are composed. You don't want to use like Shalimar and things like that in magic because those have so many different notes in them that they are not focused in a particular manner. Use single note perfumes. This is rose. This is lily of the valley. This is jasmine. This is vervain. This is orange blossom. The only exception would be for these traditional eau de colognes. Now, a traditional eau de cologne, I've got a, a separate video talking about that, but eau de cologne is based on very volatile essential oils. They, they are very fresh smelling, and there's a tradition of using traditional eau de cologne very magically and for purification and things like that. They always smell very fresh. They always have a, a, a large citrus component, sometimes a little bit of, of herbs like rosemary and things like that. So they're very, very purifying and they work beautifully. So eau de cologne and or vervain or verbena for basic uh, smudging or purification. Vervain can be used as a substitute for any other essential oil or perfume. So if you don't have a particular planetary perfume for an operation you're using, just use the Van Van or the Vervain or the Verbena. You can use that for anything. And otherwise, you can uh, collect some of these floral perfumes so that you can use them uh, for different operations, you know, based on the different planets and angels or gods and goddesses that you're working with. So usually for the floral perfumes, I use the orange blossom for the sun, jasmine for the moon, I use honeysuckle for Mars. I use lily of the valley or muguet for Mercury. 
Uh, I use lilac for Jupiter or for uh, Sakiel or any of those Jupiter oriented gods and goddesses. For Venus, I use rose. And for Saturn, I usually use linden. So that's how I use these spray perfumes as a substitute for incense. And it's a wonderful way of working magic, and I don't really go back to using so much incense anymore. <laughs> now, there are other alternatives for burning incense, and I'll do another video on that. There's some electric burners that you can use that don't create smoke that are wonderful. I'll show you how to use those. And there's also oil warmers that can work as a substitute for incense, and I'll go into all of that on a separate video. Thanks for spending a little time with me. I really appreciate you. Blessed be.